All right, to the tail of the tape, and you could see it as we did. Quite the height advantage for Tenna at 5'11". Tim at 5 foot 7 inches, and that also plays in the reach, almost 5 inch reach edge. Only when you make those uh, moves as experience, you could get caught with your lack of experience, which makes it even more impressive as a big knee catches Tim, and now Tenna unloading. Lack of experience for sure, but I will say that Tenna is a uh, Arizona Freestyle Wrestling State champion. So anytime that Tim tried to come in with a takedown, his defense was on point and he ran right into that knee while he was trying to um, get a telegraph takedown. So he, he paid the price for it. There's the ankle pick. And now he's in a real bad position. Two minutes, 15 seconds is a lot of time to work with the first round. Um, with plenty of time still. Yeah, dropping some round. bombs. This might be very close to hitting the tape for Tenna. Chris Flores getting a real close look. Fists, elbows dropping from above. And no defense at all from Tim and Chris Flores has seen enough. So the up and comer from Arizona, highly regarded, starts his MMA career, his Combate Americas career, 1-0. A series of unanswered blows forces referee Chris Flores to step in and call a halt to this contest with an official time of 3.02 of the opening round. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, el vencedor por knockout técnico, en su debut profesional, repping the AZ, the Titan, Ivan Tena. All right, two local kids. Just show you how fertile the ground is in Arizona with fighters, with gyms. This, the head-to-head, -head, both uh, early in their careers. The height advantage by four inches for Rascone and three inches via the reach. Again, we're in the flyweight division. Everyone made weight. He's in that quarter guard trying to get past, but he seems content just to be in quarter guard and let, let it rain. And He's twisting. He didn't like that. Reba's getting clocked on the I ear. That's behind the back. Not Those don't feel good. You guys, okay? uh, I've been kneed in the back of the head before. Head. I didn't realize it, though. The referee stopped it, and I was like, what are you doing? They're like, you just got kneed in the back of the head. I'm like, oh, who cares? Let's go. Come on, guys. Did you really work. have that dialogue? Yeah, I was really <laughs> under the impression that I didn't yeah. know what was going on. Like, oh, I did. And they're like, you should be mad. I'm like, OK, I guess. Rivas always leaves his best for the last 10 seconds of the round. Again, he reverses it, but there's no time. And round two comes to a close. Sun starting to set out there in Tucson, Arizona. Here, Torres, right now scheduled for the end of the night. By the end way, the night's over. There's your answer. Ask Max. Max, give out your number. But, <laughs> that's OK. But that's it. The, the fight's been stopped uh, as Rivas not going to answer the bell here in round three. So the damage of Rascone, big enough, and he is emotional. Ladies and gentlemen, the red corner informs referee Chris Flores they no longer wish to continue, obligating him to stop this contest prior to the start of the third and final round. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, el ganador por knockout técnico, from Tucson, Arizona, Justin Rasco. All right, tail of tape, one thing will stick out here. Height-wise, an edge for Calvo, but that three-inch reach, you would imagine, will be very handy. We are in the Bantamweight division. Alvarado making some contact with that right. Jose Calvo needs to quit being hesitant. He needs to go. He's waiting. He needs to be first. Wasn't first there. Beautiful. Take down. That's worked. Got both legs tied up. Alvarado back to his feet. There's a the body lock. Take him right back down. Throw him over the front. It can't go front, go back. Just go some way. Grabs the leg, takes the back. Drag him down to the front. All body weight, front. Trying to deny Calvo the highly regarded Costa Rican, the Tico. Trying to put Costa Rica on the map, much the same way Peru was solidly put on the MMA map uh, last week, last Friday. We're in June here in Cop uh, Combate Americas. Two big cards coming this month in McAllen, Texas, June 21st, June 28th in New Mexico. Title fight there. Quintana Canetti. Now the back, final seconds. We'll go the distance, and now we go to the referee's decisions. In favor of the winner, by way of split decision. Puro Tijuana. Wow. Right. Eduardo right. Alvarado Osuna. 
Oh, so there you go. Both guys are uh, experienced in their 30s. Two inch height advantage for Andy Perez, and he gets it down at 5'9 to 135 pounds. Also has the two inch reach edge. What's it mean to say that he looks like he needs to be taken away in a straight jacket? Because I meant to say it in a positive way. Yeah, that way. is mean. Like, he is, how do you <laughs> say, the, one of the biggest personalities that Combate yeah, has. I and I feel like mean. that straight jacket thing is like a compliment in a sense. You that called him a psychopath. No, he, in, the, in the cage he is. In there the he cage goes. he is. And he's unloading. He's the favorite coming in, and now he's showing why. Big knee catches Duran, and Duran, red face, gets out of dodge. you got to get out of dodge, because Andy Perez is coming for you. Is it, what is this? Is uh, Duran's just been oh. waiting, trying to find the right shots? Andy Perez is not an oh, easily oh. figured out oh. puzzle. Perez catching some on the chin, and he does not like it, but he still moves forward, and those punches are now wild. That's not good. Duran, precise, oh, big left hand. That's a good shot. Nicely done by David Duran. Got caught there with that left hook. Again with that big looping left. Duran blocks him and now almost lined up that big knee, but Perez was short with the left and it did well. Let's see what happens. Ooh, nice body kick. That hurt him. Oh. 20 seconds left here. Perez. Emptying what he's got. Now Duran going to the left hand, one last shot. Feels like he's done enough. I would imagine that's the case. But this has been a game fighter and a oh. big left hook. That one hurt Perez. Will he fear the bell? More punches Ooh. unloading, everything connecting. And Perez like Rocky Balboa. Stumbling and raising his hands in victory. <laughs> Judge Sandoval scores it 29 to 28 in favor of the winner. By way of split decision, a favor del vencedor, por decisión dividida. From Whittier, California, David Duran. See Jose Aldai towering over. It's just two inch height advantage. It felt like more there with that stare down. Six inch via the reach. We're in the Bantamweight division. Mexican born, grew up in the US, young boy, became an American for all intent and purposes. Then, on a fateful day, deported back to Mexico. Fought his way back, literally, figuratively, to be here and at one point become the first champion in Combate America's history. But that's all in the past, and now he starts anew. Former champion, you can see why. Jose Alda is the type of fighter that just bites down on his mouthpiece and comes forward. And striking is amazing. Hello. And he gets teed off on here in the ending oh, the area of the uh -oh. first Caught round. Him. Big right from the Argentine. Ooh. Let's go. Alda. And oh. there's the end, and well, unfortunate wow. stop. Fireworks. El Molo, who ends the first round with a bomb. We saw that in El Pulve Alvarado, where it appeared that Calvo, the Costa Rican, did everything, including takedowns. It wasn't enough. Nice. Oh, left good left hook Aldai. drops him. El Molo responds well. And that could be the fight of the round that makes it more decisive for Aldai, in the judge's opinion. He got up quick, though. He did. Yeah, he's, he's up quick. He's a tough guy. It's going to take more than that. Big knee. Almost well, head went down at the wrong time, but no damage done. Well, he was trying to take him down, and he got stuffed like turkey dinner. Aldai knows he needs to be impressive, looking for the KO. And Molo switching stances, looking for a left hook. Ten seconds of the third and final round. Nice body kick by Aldai. Oh, and Molo capturing here. It fire away oh. again, and that one stung Aldai. Arm goes up for El Molo. Smart play, because he got it to the judges. All three in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Los tres a favor del ganador por decisión unánime. De México, oh. El Pochito, right, right. Jose. All right, let's go to the head to head. Uh, their careers in MMA, in diapers, both 26. One inch height advantage for Jauregui. 
two and a half inch via the reach, and we know she's a whirly dervish. She's keeping the pressure on. She's got her own welt, though, how to gee underneath her right eye. They're taking shots. Kenna's just taking a lot and not really budging. Oh, boy. Oh, now she's in trouble. Everything connecting. Precise darts connecting on the face of McKenna. Waking up in a single leg position, hoping to pull it out on the single leg, but Howdigy's right in front of her corner, listening to her husband shout out directions to her. She's doing a great job of defending the takedown so far. This is a great spot for Howdigy to be in. This is where she wants just the fight. Just beating on that eye. Dominant position. Yep. Got an opportunity to take up an oh, arm bar, but she the side, and now Mitchell's in trouble, and now Guyanese thinking about it. More Mitchell punches on top. Both away. eyes are blue. Oh, Nothing she could do. Mitchell is trapped. Thought like it was the good idea to go down, and now Haregi has changed it, clearing it. Can the mount? Howdigi in side control in the uh -oh, crucifix position. problems here. Punches flying down and can't Ooh. go much further. It stops there. Is that the round, round or he stopped the fight? That was round, That's and I round. wonder the the if rounds. her corner is going to throw in the towel. McKenna Mitchell, you did awesome. You took the fight on short notice, and we're proud of you. You will be back, I'm sure. Tonight was uh, Yasmin Howdigi's fight, though. Are they not coming out? They're, They're not, not coming that's out. Oh, no, right. that's it. That's, look at okay. the relief that's on good. the face I'm happy. of I'm Yasmin Howdigi. Yeah. yeah. She I'm didn't want to. She didn't want to fight the third round, and that's Cam. That's two really impressive performances. I gotta say, McKenna, uh, we got another fight for you. Yasmin, we definitely have another fight for you. We just Super Melly. You know. She said she wants a fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Al Guiney determines that the red corner can no longer continue, obligating him to stop this contest before the start of the third and final round. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, la vencedora por knockout técnico, Yaun Invicta, Yasmin Jauregui. Chris Flores, man, let's go to the head to the head. You see the height advantage for Payan El Terrible by three inches, four inches versus the reach of Garcia's. We are at the lightweight division. What's interesting about Payan is that he's fought in Bellator. He's fought in Strike Force. He's fought in the UFC. He's fought a ton of guys, and uh, you can't count him <laughs> out because even though oh, oh, well, Garcia we might be able to count him out soon. City. Brings it down, gets uh -oh. the back. Uh -oh. Unloading, Payan curls up. Big 30 seconds for Rafa Garcia. Can he survive, Garcia? Can he get it done? Beat you in so many ways in this position. Going for RNC. Can't get that on like, now he does. Oh. It's underneath the chin, That's it's over Khabib. the face. He's khabib him. Payan fighting it. Payan going the right way. Blooding up that oh, right eye. Oh, he taps, he taps. Still yeah. unbeaten. Yeah. Yeah. Ten wow. and oh. Wow, gifted wow. Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, the blue corner is forced to tap out with an official time of four minutes, 50 seconds of the opening stanza. Your winner, by way of submission, el vencedor por sumisión, Yaun Invicto Puro Chicali, Rafa Gifted Garcia. All right, let's go to the head to head. The height is a push. The reach two inches in favor of Joel Champion. This was supposed to be 190. Javier Torres did his part. Champion coming over by five pounds. So. Ooh, big old left hook from Joel Champion. I'm just trying to figure out when nice. American football was in start of Mexico. <laughs> Ooh, big old Probably takedown for Joel, Joel Champion. And he just drops the weight on him. Oh, for sure. There's my phone number again. Any last know what text, you get him in fight. now. Come Ui, on. Almost triangle, there at arm bar. Triangle. triangle, there it Ui, is. That's the, got to stretch that's that arm. Get, okay, it's over. Champion in problems over, now. Over, over, Just over. Just got to extend. It's done, guys. That's a tap by triangle. Wow, that's impressive from Chunty Boy, and he's still working. There's a tap. You called it, Juliana. For sure, that was way too tight. The red corner sinks in a triangle choke, forcing his opponent to tap with an official time of two minutes, 42 seconds of round number two. Your winner, by way of submission, el vencedor por sumisión de Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico, el Chunti Boy, Javier. 